I think it really depends on, on the country. We saw China's recent inflation numbers come in pretty low, but India has been fairly elevated. So a lot of that has to do with the rupee policy and growing incomes there. But things like sugar and rice and other commodities are actually, you know, the, the harvests have, have been pretty ample this year. So it's a good sign generally. And of course, uh, today is World Food Day. When you look at how Asia will feed its growing population, uh, food security, self-sufficiency as well, this is the chief goal. But how far away is Asia from achieving that? Well, I think food security is a major issue in the region. Even, I think, Indonesia wants several months of rice supply by 2014. So th there is very much a focus by governments in the region to have stocks of rice and core commodities uh, over time. Um, I think seeing what people saw here last year and in, in the years past, when, say, pork prices in China were up by 53% year on year, it's really shocking. So with income so low in, in urban, within the urban poor, which is such a large portion of the population, and the urban poor spend between 60 and 80% of their income on food. So they have to find ways to reduce those supply shocks and their result.